I am Adil Kumar. In this video, we will discuss how to find area of irregular polygons. I will provide you with the general method when we are given vertices of the polygon. Now here, we do not have right angles as we had in simpler examples done earlier. The question here is, find the area of irregular polygon formed by the following set of points, right? So we will take up two examples. In the first case, we are talking about a triangle ABC and in the second case, we will talk about a quadrilateral with four vertices. The concept here is to use a method which is called shoestring method, right? So there is a method which is called shoestring method. Uh, some of you who have done uh, vectors could also do it using uh, vectors cross product method. So we also call uh, vectors, let me call cross product. So these are actually it's the same method, uh, but these are uh, alternate names, right? So. Uh, or I should write or right so both are same same methods so basically the idea here is that if I have number of uh, vertices let's say generally if I have x1 y1 as one coordinate point x2 y2 as a second one x3 y3 as the third one and so on we could have uh, x n y n any number of coordinates right that is why it is called a general method. So if we have any number of coordinate points, in that case, the area can be calculated by finding uh, the product as uh, area as half of, area is always a positive value. So we write absolute value of. And uh, the trick here is, let me write these coordinate points, x1, x2, x3, so on till x n and then we'll also write y1 y2 y3 and so on till y n right so what we do here in this we add these products right up to this point so we add these products and from these products we take away those so what i'm trying to say here is that the area for such a polygon will be half of so we'll add these products that is uh, we'll do x1 y2 plus x2 y3 plus x3 y4 plus so on till x n minus 1 y n right and uh, from this we'll take away these products which are y1 x2 plus y2 x3 so on till y n minus 1 x n right so and we have to take the absolute value of this let me draw this line so that is the method to find the area now with the help of these coordinate points uh, let me show you how to calculate this area. So let's calculate the area when the coordinates are given to us as minus 1, minus 2. Let me write down these coordinates. We have A, which is minus 1, minus 2. We have B. Let me write here. We have B, which is 4, 0, and C as minus 3, 1. Now to find this area, we can say area is equal to half of absolute value of. Now, it's a good idea to write it in this fashion and then uh, multiply. Or I could even do this here, right? We have to multiply this x value with the y value, this x value with the y value, right? These will be positive in nature. So we'll write minus 1 times 0. So we are uh, multiplying these values, which is the same form, right? So we are multiplying these values, writing them as positive. Minus 1 times 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is positive 4, right? 
and then we'll take away these products these two correct so we'll do minus of now if you do four times minus two it becomes minus eight and if you do minus three times zero you get plus zero right so it is absolute value of half of zero plus four is just four and inside we have minus eight with minus eight becomes plus eight right so that is equal to half of eight plus four is twelve and that is six units square so our answer here is that area of a triangle abc is six unit square is it clear to you so that is how you can find the area once you know the coordinate points clear so i hope these steps are absolutely clear now let's uh, practice with the second example the quadrilateral pqrs i would like you to pause the video do it and then check with my solution so now we need to find the area of irregular polygon formed by the following set of points which are p q r and s so let me rewrite these points where p is 0 minus 2 q is 3 0 so i've taken simple points for easy calculation the idea is to understand the method right and s is minus 2 4 the beauty is that you could have n polygon or n sided figure to find the area using this method. So we are going to add these products, correct? Three of them. So we get the area of this quadrilateral as equal to half of absolute value of 0 times 0 is 0 plus 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 times 4 is 8. Take away product the other side product which is y2 minus x1 right y3 minus x2 y4 times x3 so those will be negative so we take a negative outside 2 times minus 2 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 2 times 0 is 0 and minus 2 times 3 will be minus 6 right so absolute value so we get the areas half of absolute value of 9 plus 8 17 minus this is minus 12 right so which is half of absolute value of 17 plus 12 right so which is half of uh, 929 right so which is 14.5 unit square area will always be in unit square right so that is how you can find area of this quadrilateral using the method which is also known as shoestring method right so once again it is called shoestring method to find area for any polygon so our answer here is that the area is 14.5 unit square correct so this is a very neat method to find area for any polygon uh, when the coordinate points are given to you. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.